came here. Let's take a look about all the AI Figma features. Let's take a look about all the Figma AI features that we have in Figma. It's a features that they launched in May last year. I hope this year we will get more AI features. But for now, some of them can help you to work faster and more accurate and organize your frames and screen. So let's take a dive to it. Here you can see all the features that Figma has. We have first draft, rename layout, make prototype and replace content. All this connected to work we do with the frames. We have features to work with text, like translate, make the text short and rewrite text. And at the end, work with images, like make an image and remove background. So let's take a look about the first feature that is first draft. That is the most important one because it helps us to create screen. So let's click here on the action buttons. I will click here and click on first draft. Now, not always you will see all the information on the menu. So write the feature you want and it will appear on the menu. So I will click on first draft. And let's make, as always, create a delivery app. Always delivery app. Now, apart from writing the prompt, you have here options to select between wireframes, mobile or desktop, or high fidelity of desktop or application. I will select application now and let's see how it's make the magic. It can take a little bit time because it's generated all the information, but basically it's quite fast. It's created an interface for us. Now we have some options. First of all, we can change the colors if we want to iterate the colors. And here we can select different types of colors. We can play with the radius of the elements. Take a look on the image here. We can make it with more radius, without radius. Spacing between elements if we want. You can see how it's changed. And with the typography, we can select different types of typography and add them to the interface. After you close this screen, Okay, you want to make more changes, you can select here and then again on the menu and you have here make changes. Okay, so you click on make changes and you can iterate here with the colors and with dark theme or light theme as you wish. One thing that's important to know that if you back here and want to generate another screen and you click in first draft, here on this button you have your history of prompt. So you can see we have here create a delivery app. It's very helpful because normally we write a prompt and we forget it. So here you have all the history, you can create it again. The thing that it's not able to do is to generate the same visual design for other screen. But I found a hack how to do it. Basically, you duplicate here the screen, click on the new screen, go to the menu and here and make changes. Go to prompt and click here. Let's say create a login page. And now when I click on make changes, it will change the interface to a login page. Okay, so you can see the result. It's not 100 accurate. It's very hack, as I said, but uh, it's keep the same visual design. And that is important if you want to continue to iterate on the screen. So this more or less the thing. Again, it's a hack, but sometimes when you need it, it will help. Of course, it's necessary to eliminate all the elements from here, but you can see that it's the more or less the same visual design. Now, another thing that is important to know about prompts, here we wrote a very simple prompt, but you can write more detailed prompt and it gives you better results. For example, in that case, I have a scope that is a little bit more detailed and a scope for better app. You create a clear and intuitive central dashboard that provides real-time key better information about how I want that the, the screen will look. I copy it and let's generate it with first draft. Click on, on first draft, paste it, and let's click on make it and wait one moment that it will generate the interface for us. This is the app it generates for us. It's more detailed as I ask it to have. So this is about first draft. Give it a chance. I believe you like it. The next thing that you can do is create prototype. Now, this is a very simple example just to show you how it's worked. You can taste it with more advanced prototypes, but just to show you how it's worked, you select two screens, go here to the menu, make prototype, click on that, waiting one moment, and then you can see how it's understand that after I click on sign in, it will go to the next page. Again, very basic one, but you can test it with your screens. I will say that if you have a lot of screens, do it step by step, not everything in once because it can confuse it, still not 100%, but it can help you to work more effective when you work with Figma. So this is about prototype, give it a chance, can help you to make prototypes in a very easy way. Next feature is the famous rename layers. Most of the time I work with design system that the layers there yeah, needs to be organized to help to the developers understand the information. Also, it's make the design system UI kit much more accurate and much more precise. But if you work on a design that you move boxes and start to testing and work not organized, in the past, I'd say not necessary to do it. But if you want to work more organized, sometimes help. With one click, you can organize all the name of the layers very easily. You just click on the frame, 
again menu here below rename layers click on that and you can see how the layer names i will click here rename anyway because it said to me that everything is okay but not but in any case you can see the most of the layers get a name now if a, a layer is hidden it will not change it if it's blocked also it will not change the name of the layer the next feature is replace content so basically if you work on the list of items i have here three you can click here below when you are with auto layout on and it's fill all the layers as you can see it will change tokyo london berlin one of the things that you can do after generate information is select the layer go here and then here rewrite this ask it to rewrite to another city for example a uh, right american city i rewrite and we have new york it's duplicated so maybe better to be more specific but you can select more than one layer in one click and you change all of them all the content inside next we have three text tools so first of all you can translate i will select the text go here and select translate to let's take french and as you can see it translate the information to french second one if i select here the layer click on the menu i can make the text shorter you can see much shorter than before Last but not least, you can rewrite the text. I will select the layer, go here, rewrite this. Let's say it more casual and it will change it. Of course, you can add any prompt you want and it will make the text as you wish. And now for the last feature, images. What we can do is create an image. So here I go to make an image and I will write t-shirt image, click on make it and let's get an image. In the meantime, it's uh, create the image. I will tell that this is not the most powerful image generated ai that exists so it's create this uh, four images i will take this one if you want to eliminate the background you can click here and then remove background it will take off all the background and if you want to see a real example of how i work with that here are all the image generation that i did with freepik for the thumbnails for youtube videos and then i basically eliminate all the backgrounds with this tool so here you can see how it's work in part of this ai tools there are two tools they are not the main tools but i will show you how to you can do it if i select here in, uh, the image i can search for similar so it will search for similar images or icon and you can see that it's searching all the figma community icons of a t-shirt i don't know how i will use it if you have any idea how to do it uh, drop in the comments last one that it's in beta if you click here you can boost resolution I tried to use it, uh, but basically in my case, the resolution was good. So I don't know. Give it a chance. Let me know in the comments what you think about this feature. And with that one, we cover all the AI features for Figma. I hope that in the new conference that we have, we will get more powerful tools to work. Uh, this world of AI moves very, very fast and always there are new improvements. And as I always said, and if you want for me to make a tutorial specific tool, drop in the comments. That's all for today. If you need a product designer or training about AI and product design, my information in the description, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.